Actually, it's not his birthday anymore. That was uh, technically last night when we are recording this. Actually, for the next five minutes, probably, it's Vince McMahon's birthday, of course. I just got it done doing the raw wrap-up and everything emanating from Brooklyn, New York. I'm in Pittsburgh. I'm Mike Sorg. I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Sorgatron.com. It's basic Sorgonomics. And uh, I mean, got me thinking, so Vince McMahon turns 70. Of course, most of you, you should know Vince McMahon. Most of you listening to me, I think, are also wrestling fans. You should be at least pop culturally aware of the gentleman uh he is responsible for a whole generation a whole a whole movement of professional wrestling and it becoming mainstream culture but anyways um but i think there's something of note here the guy is 70 years old uh there's plenty of stories about him there's a lot of parts of him i think you can akin to a steve jobs and uh again also technology being part of my kind of purview my my scope uh, things I'm into and talk about and, and and seeing all the people kind of idolize and put uh, somebody like a Steve Jobs on a pedestal. And I think to a certain point, uh, they should be they should be doing the same with Vince to an extent. Now, we all always hear these stories. We always hear, well, he was, a, he was an asshole about this, that and the other thing. But I think there's a certain thing, successful people, quote unquote, that especially at, at that level, they're just not going to jive with. Um, can I say normal people? Uh, they're not just dudes at that point, maybe, right? But there's also, I think, something about work ethic that, that can be said here. Now, I think, I don't think Vince is doing this, yeah, maybe a little bit for the money, but Vince is involved with wrestling because he loves wrestling. Uh, there was actually a uh, interview with uh, some of the guys from The Click. I can't remember which ones in, entirely. Actually, it's probably Triple H now I think about it. Could have been Kevin Nash, could have been Shawn Michaels, whatever the case may be, uh, talking with Vince back in the 90s and then realizing, hey, you're one of us. You're a wrestling fan. Regardless of your position with this company, what you built with this company, you are a wrestling fan. And I think that's very significant. Uh, I and I always call back to uh, some of my my guys that I listen to for motivation, like the Gary Vaynerchuks, and they talk about working and outworking other people and that work ethic. And maybe that's why you're not at the point where you think you should be, because you haven't worked harder than the next than the next guy. And and this idea that you're 70 years old and still doing that thing, which is still pretty big, you know. I mean, obviously, some he's a guy that's ridiculously fit or steroided, whatever your opinion on that might be. Um, I think generally fit, holy crap, uh, to, to, to do that at that age, I think it's pretty incredible. Um, and I think that, especially today, when we talk about a lot of us that are chasing our passions, right? You know, the passionaries, when we're talking about be somebody a few weeks on the awesome chat, right? I think, I think this idea of retirement um, escapes us anymore, especially if you're into something passionate, right? I, 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 maybe it's something, even if something you're passionate about, maybe that'll wear on you after a few years, or maybe the industry changes when you finally get to it and it's not what you realized. And then you'll be fine with retirement at 55. Good luck if that happens. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, but uh, I think that's that's significant. I think, I think looking at what you're doing, what you're into, and am I going to be doing this thing when I am 70 and completely cool with it? You know, uh, is it is it something that you can do that? Is it something that you can pour your heart into uh, for years and years and years? Um, again, just kind of looking at that. What does it take to do that? Right um, now, uh, examining stories and such we hear about Vince McMahon, some of them, I think a lot of them here say uh, there's a certain attitude about there is no sick. Right. Uh, and, and I think that's unhealthy to a certain point. Well, there's no sick. Obviously, you're going to get sick. I think a lot of people are going to get sick. But I also believe it is a little bit of a mindset, too. Um, there was a time when I would just, oh, I got the sniffles. I want to stay home from work. Oh, you know, I didn't want to work. I didn't want to be that day job every day, right? But then there was a certain point, even with hating that day job, I said, I'm not going to get sick. This isn't going to happen. You know, this year is going to be different, whether it be my attitude, whether it be uh, uh, I changed my diet a little bit, you know, not so much working out. I never really worked out uh, much, if at all. Uh, a little bit of DDP yoga there and there, here and there. I got to get back into it, I know, so I can be swole like Vince McMahon when I'm 70. Uh, but, uh, damn it. Thank you, Dan Hooven and Chachi, for introducing that into my vocabulary. But anyways, you know, I... I <laughs> 
And I forget what the point was of that. Uh, but anyways, when you look at uh, uh, somebody like that, he's got the attitude of success. He has the attitude of, I'm not going to get sick. And I think there's a certain attitude of, I'm not going to let things get in the way of my goals. Like kind of a person that doesn't take take no for an answer, right? And, and again, I think that's super, super significant when you're kind of reaching out there, chasing your passions, trying to better what the hell you're doing in your life, right? Uh, and, 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 and again, that could be in your nine to five. Maybe you you love being in the office in that environment. Uh, it's not for me, you know. Uh, it's not for a lot of people out there that are discovering these other things. Now, for him, obviously, it's building a giant corporate behemoth the way he has, and with the right people lined up with him, that he can do something like this. But by all accounts, he's still the hardest working guy in the room, and and leads by example in that regard. So. I guess at that point, and, and, and you know what? Spin that a little bit. Stop on our part. Joan Rivers. I can't remember. I'll try to Google her uh, while we're kind of uh, rolling here. I'm not going to do an embarrassing series search while that happens. Joan Rivers, uh, I believe, very much died doing what she loved. She was, what was she, in her 70s? She was doing the math here. Born, died, 33 uh, but she, she, she was still working very hard, still doing, still doing really her, her standup, you know, she was aged 81 and still working as hard as she probably was 20 years before was very youthful. Something in her just failed. Rowdy Roddy Piper was another guy. He was still out there doing indie shows. I, I don't know what the most recent one was. We saw him here locally in, uh, 2012. 12 and and just enjoying it and 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 obviously he wasn't nearly as old at 61 i think he was you know but but i think that's amazing uh, i i i think there's this 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 attitude of and whether they're like super successful like a vince McMahon, joan rivers vince is gonna work until he's dead you guys know that right he's pretty much working until he he keels over and I think he wants no other way. And I think that's okay, especially if that's the thing you dig. Some people stop and say, I'm just going to spend time with my family. That's it. Work isn't the most important thing. And maybe it's not the most important thing, but it's an important thing for him. And that's how he, I don't know if you can call it justifies his life or, 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 or keeps himself grounded or whatever the case may be, but it's a motivation or, most motivational thing and and here are these people i think a lot is to be said about keeping i don't want to say you know keeping active like this and keeps you out of the old folks home i guess right um things fail but i think i think it is mental i think it is physical and especially if you're chasing something like this whether it be comedy and, and, and entertainment like joan rivers or that thing that Vince McMahon does with professional wrestling, right? Uh, and 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 I think, you know, we don't have to be as successful as Joan Rivers and Vince, but uh, we can be successful to ourselves. So that's my thoughts there. Happy birthday, Vince McMahon. You're missed in, our, in the limelight, Joan Rivers. And uh, I hope that some of us learns a little bit of something from... Uh, the legacy is about to be a keep. Basic Sorgonomics, let me know what you think. Uh, Sorgatron.com for the comments or on the video on YouTube. Please subscribe to me on whether venue you like to listen or watch. We have other things that also include my voice over at SorgatronMedia.com, including client podcasts. We can help you too at Sorgatron Media Services. Uh, if you want to get into podcasting and or social media or anything, uh, video, audio, or, or, or storytelling to get your word out there, please uh, hit us up at Sorgatron Media. Dot com. Sign up for the newsletter as well. i got some writing and some of my favorite podcasts of the week up in there. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.